What up guys, so you want to give yourself a haircut but don't know how to, right? Here's a cinematic step by step. First, make sure you have at least two mirrors. I like using a ring light and just taping a mirror to it making it super easy. You're gonna have to adjust the mirror according to what angle you're cutting at and what hand you are specifically using at that moment but just keep that in mind. Next, moisten up and part the side from the top hair making sure both partings on each side match to one another. We now clip away the top hair. We do this so we don't accidentally catch any hair we're not supposed to cut. Alright, with your preferred trimmer, create a baseline depending how bald you want the skin fade to be, or in a barber term, how high you want the blend to start. As for my cut, I did start it pretty high on the front end but ended up dropping it and sort of making it a V shape in the back, allowing it to look darker within the occipital area. Now remove everything below that baseline you just created. Guys, the most frustrating thing about these self cuts can be getting proper angles, so try looking for the ring light mirror itself, back to the main mirror, and then etc. It really helps to also take your eyes off the work every now and then because you do get really focused sometimes. Using a shaver is optional, but it'll make it look so much better and it'll last longer. So if you decide to use one, just make sure to flick out when reaching that baseline. Big tip is to use your dominant hand for everything you're doing within the haircut. I used to think you needed to switch off to your other hand and whatnot, but no way, that's impossible. You'll just be wasting time. Next, with your clipper and the lever open, create a half inch guideline all around right above that baseline we just made. Close up the lever and move up halfway through that guide, removing the baseline. I'd have to say the most challenging obstacle about a self cut is a rear. What usually works is placing the mirror further away to see it a little bit clearer. Okay, now you want to open up the lever just a notch and scoot up just a few millimeters, very little guys. I suggest you really get used to slight movements for a more detailed blend. And open up again another notch moving it up just a tad bit not over the end of the guideline though so keep that in mind these movements are subtle but make a big difference in the outcome it will also take up loads of time trying to learn how to self-cut but it's worth all the money that you save in the long run aside from that you get a customize your own look every single time if you can still see the baseline or parts of it just make sure to use your trimmer to remove it it's best to use corners though Okay, with the half guard and the lever open, move up half an inch. I decided to clip over comb a bit just on the front end because it was blocking my guide which you can also do if your hair is lengthy. With the one guard on the lever fully open, move up half an inch all around.
Next with the one and a half guard fully open, move up half an inch, but be sure to flick out. If not, you'll create a new guideline and you'll have to do extra work. Follow this with the number two open and going up another half inch. Once again, don't forget to flick out. If you're wondering where to get these translucent guards like the packs I use in every video, visit martybuns.com to grab your favorite color. Finally, without a guard, open up the lever on your clipper and use your corners to remove that last visible line. Guys, we have to accept the fact that even if we go through all the steps, it won't always end off the cleanest unless we detail. Come back to specific guards and make sure to erase every harsh line and touch up every dark area. When working on your own beard, make sure to enhance the jawline by underlining it. Tilt your head back a bit and create a straight line across your jaw to jaw. Then remove everything behind. Easy. Next is the top portion. I personally wanted to go a bit shorter so I always start off by parting and working on the parietal area. Scissor over comb may take a bit of practice but if you want you can use a higher number like an 8 and flick out instead of shears because it can be difficult especially for your first time. Of course it all depends if you're up for the challenge. If you guys want a more in-depth tutorial on any haircut, beard or simply shear work make sure to stay tuned for my course and BU dropping very soon. Finally, to top it all off, don't forget to show off your work with a nice little blow dry and a dab of clay. You can use whatever it is that you like, but I prefer mine with a soft matte finish. I really hope you guys learned something. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace.